My name is Enrita, uh, I'm 20 years old, and I'm currently in my third year at the University of Waterloo doing a degree in knowledge integration with a minor in cognitive science. I'm really, I think, very passionate about harm reduction and health equity and incorporating those approaches into how we talk about mental health and substance use. I think that there are intrinsic components of changing the system and affecting the lives of individuals. So I was really interested in this, how this campaign was about making the information accessible. It was not about telling youth what to do. It was about saying, here's the information, make an informed choice. We're not here to be judgmental. We're not here to say, this is something you're not allowed to try, but we just want to make sure that you do the thing that's best for you, which is like a big principle of harm reduction that I think I can really get behind and I'm really passionate about. With any decision you choose to make, especially in the teenage years, you know, in the adolescence, a lot of things happen for the wrong reasons. You know, you're, you're pushed to do it because it's a normative practice, it's like what your friends are doing, it's like a form of self-medicating, you think that it's gonna help. I would say like, if this is a choice you're gonna make, make sure you're doing it for you and only you, not to appease anybody else, not to fit in, which is hard, to have that clarity in the moment, but I think that if youth could be more deliberate about that, it would really circumvent a lot of the problems with use that kind of that kind of happen. And then the information is out there. The, in, the internet is our greatest resource, and I would just encourage anyone, youth or otherwise, who's thinking of using cannabis or any substance to make an informed decision and do the research, understand the effects, the consequences, positive or negative, and uh, just be smart and critical about it. I was telling a friend about uh, my involvement with this project, and she was kind of having a realization that, oh, um, cannabis can you know trigger or onset psychosis if you have like a family history or like more predisposed. And then she was just kind of like, oh, I should probably think about that when I'm like wanting to smoke or not. And it's like a microcosm of like a lot of people don't know about it. And I think it's like uh, discussions of depression and anxiety are very much at the forefront. And I think that those are great. And I don't want to be, I don't want to say that we need to be, you take away from that. However, there's a lot of stigma around psychosis and schizophrenia because of like how it's portrayed in the media. And then I don't think there's enough showing this is what it actually is. And it's not always reasonable to assume that people are going to go out and do the research themselves, right? Like there are not enough campaigns like this one that kind of meet you 60 or 70% of the way. This is really cliche, but it's cliche for a reason, which is you're not alone in your struggles. There are countless people who have experienced the same things that you do. It's evident in the youth that came together to work on this project. Like we're all here because we're like-minded. We have lived experience that has uh, propelled us to want to do work to, to, to affect change. So I think if you're struggling with whether or not to use, or you're struggling with problems with your mental health and wellness, it's important to know you're not alone and there are resources out there for you. Like this one. <laughs>